Hey fellow travelers, Mark here with Walter's World, and today we have a very special guest with us. Hello. This is my mom, Kathy, and today what we're going to be doing is making our own Gluvan or Wassel or Glug or Karshas Venus or whatever you want to call it, hot wine, a very popular traditional drink to have throughout Europe during Christmas time. So what I thought we would do is give you a recipe to make your own hot wine at home. Now, if you're lucky, you might be able to find some of that hot wine or glue vine in like Aldi's or especially liquor store. You can find it already made and you can just pour it and heat it up and it's ready to go. And the thing is, this hot wine that they have in Europe is not just a bottle of wine that you buy at Bordeaux or something, I just pour it in a, in a saucepan and heat it up. There's actually flavors in it and things like that. So what we're gonna do is actually make our version of Wassel uh, that you can share with your family and enjoy to have a little bit more of a holiday festive spirit at your home. So the ingredients you're gonna need for this are one cup of sugar, four inches of cinnamon sticks, three lemon slices, a fourth cup of water, two cups of unsweetened pineapple juice, two cups of orange juice, six cups of dry red wine. Now, my mom will tell you, you can use different kinds of wine, right? You can use a Bordeaux, any type of dry red wine. And one cup of dry sherry. Now, also, if you look at it, you're gonna have two different saucepans. You have one where you're gonna mix the first kind of flavoring and spices, and then one where you combine it all together. So, let's get started. Now, the first thing you need to do is, in the smaller saucepan, you are going to combine the sugar, the cinnamon, the lemon slices, and the water. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna stir this for three to five minutes until the sugar is completely dissolved. Squish the lemons a little bit, that way you get a little bit more zest. And the thing is, what we've done is we've actually taken the lemon seeds out of our slices beforehand, because we're gonna strain this anyway later, but just to make it easier on yourself, we suggest doing that. Now, it will take a little while for this to dissolve. So one of the things I want to talk about is you see in front of us, we have all of these nice winter cups. You know, I have the boot here from Munich. My mom's got a nice another one from Munich. The Christmas markets in Germany and other places in Europe, a lot of times will have kind of a theme mug. And they make a great, actually, gift for people. Or we have collections. I mean, this is my mom's, like half of my mom's collection. Mine and my house is probably twice this size. And it's one of those nice little things. And if you're going to a place like Germany, you will buy your wine. And then usually there'll be like a two euro fond, they call it, like a deposit. If you return the cup, you get the money back. If you don't, ain't no big deal. You have yourself a, a nice little reminder of your time. Souvenir. Mun yeah, souvenir in Munich or Nuremberg's really great for Christmas. We've gone all over Germany at Christmas. We've been to Berlin, Hanover, Hamburg, uh, Wernigerode, Oda, Quellenberg, Regensburg, Bamberg, of course. Yeah all kinds of great places and of course we've been to Paris and Strasbourg and all throughout Eastern Europe at Christmas time, Scandinavia, Innsbruck. Innsbruck, another great place, the Dampfnudel, really good to have there because it really is a great tradition and if you're going to have a big group of people you can make a bigger version of this and get a bigger pot and these kind of things. So this is one of those nice recipes that you can easily double or triple if you have a lot of people and you got a big enough cauldron, you can do that. And what we're going to do now is we're going to combine the liquid ingredients in our six quart uh, saucepan. So what we're going to do is we have, remember, the six, the six cups of red wine, uh, two cups of unsweetened pineapple juice, two cups of orange juice, and the one cup of dry share. So we've got these. And that's all you see. It's not really a super strong drink. Um, but it is a really tasty one. And then we have our extra cup of sherry. Dry sherry is important. Put that in. And you want to get this heated up. Now, you do not want to boil it. Because once you boil it, you boil away the alcohol and a lot of the flavor that kind of is in there. So you want to put this not super high, but get it nice and warm. And the thing is, you want to get this warm because when this is warm, then you add the other ingredients in. Okay? Because if you go up with the hot and the cold, it doesn't work as well. So we'll let this heat up and then we'll drew this in. So now you start to see that it's starting to boil a little bit. So you're getting, you know you're getting about the right spot. See how it's kind of changed color and a little bit of consistency. And it's ready to add to our wine, which is, you know, getting nice and warm now. So once your sauce starts to turn very clear, looks like a golden liquid, you'll see that even if you've smushed everything out and you took out the seeds, there might be some stuff left over. So what you're gonna wanna do is make sure you get some kind of you know, strainer or something like that, and you're gonna pour your sauce through the strainer to catch the cinnamon sticks and the, and the lemons and things like that. When you're wondering how hot you should get this, what they recommend is when you get glue vine, you want to get about 170 degrees. Um, obviously, that's not boiling, so you're okay there. But you want to get it nice and warm, not boiling hot. 
because remember the boil will take away the alcohol and some of the flavor. So you want to get it up there. Now we've got it pretty much to a nice about 165, 170. And we're going to now put our boiling liquor, our boiling mixture in there to give it that kind of flavor. So I'll hold this. You want to move the thing? All right. So I'll pour it through. Hey, I didn't drop anything in this good. time. And you'll see there's a little bit, you have some residue in there from the lot, the lemons and things like that. And some people do like to put the, they sometimes they drop it in there or the cinnamon sticks and things like that. It's really up to you, but we decided to keep it out this time. So I'll move this over here. And now we've got everything mixed together. And so we'll let it cook for a little bit more to mm -hmm. get, get the flavors kind of put together. And what's nice is once you've made this, and you have a party for the night, what you can do is put the heat on low. What do you say? Yeah, put it on low so it keeps it warm and so people can come by anytime they want and ladle themselves out some, okay? So now we have everything mixed together. We get a nice consistency on top. And the last thing we need to do is obviously try some. So I've got my mug, my boot mug, which I always like. My mom's got her Munich mug. And so let's ladle some up for us. Mom, I'll let you have some first. Ooh. Ooh, and you can see it's steaming up there and smoking up there. A little bit for you, a little bit for me. It does get a little messy and a little sticky, especially if you're hopelessly worthless at keeping things clean like I am, which I'm sure I get an amen from my wife on that one. Um, <laughs> and the thing is, some people like to have it just plain like this. Um, cheers, Mom. Cheers. cheers. Ooh, I like mm. it. I like it. Very tasty. It's like, very tasty. It's a fruity wine flavor, really Christmas very flavory. Good. And some people, they like to have a little bit more a stronger with it. Some people will put a shot of amaretto in there or a cherry liquor. I mean, I prefer mm -hmm. a, a Mitschoss. If you're in Germany, it says Mitschoss with a shot. I like the cherry liquor in it personally, but all kinds of things you can do. It is really fun. Obviously, something you can do with your family and enjoy all night long, which we're going to do as we put up the Christmas tree and have all kinds of fun. So we wish you a very Merry Christmas wherever you are in the world. We hope we've helped you bring a little bit of European Christmas to your household. If you want to learn more, maybe some gifts to buy people or some other fun stuff out there for your travelers, or you want to learn more about traveling in general, you want to see Christmas in Germany or France and other places, we have all kinds of videos on our website at waltersworld.com. We're also on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram. We appreciate all of your likes and subscriptions. And if you have your own versions of, of Christmas wines or drinks or food, please let us know in the comments below because you never know. We might be in your town at Christmas time and want to enjoy the fabulous things you have. So Merry Christmas and uh, bye. As it goes around, you know, because my mom likes to make sure I don't burn the house down when I cook. If you saw our ceiling, you'd see where I almost burned our house down when I was a relative kid. <clears throat> anyway.